we go. Independent Radio, KWSS 93.9 FM. It's the Danny Cutler Show. And for those of you listening on 93.9 right now, you cannot see their lovely faces, but I do have Jordan and Brian here from Jane in the Jungle. Hello, guys. Hey, guys. How's it going? It is going great. How are you? Good. We yeah. are playing a show this week in Phoenix. Our I first know. one back. Tonight. We're playing tonight. We, yes, technically it's tonight. People know how I do the Zoom thing by now, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're listening on the live radio right now, it is tonight. tonight. We're freaking out. It's we are going, we will be talking about this show for sure. But I have to say that it's not your first live show because last week you were out in LA playing the Viper Room. We were. How was it? How was your very first live show with people again? Oh, it was great. It felt really good to be back on stage and we had a really good turnout. And I even got to meet Matt Penfield, which was so, so cool. Like he's like an idol of mine. So that was like really, really awesome that wow. he was there. That's when MTV was good. Yeah, he probably thought I was a little weird because I saw him when we were playing and I looked at him almost the entire time. <laughs> oh my God. He's like, why is this guy staring at me? Right? <laughs> yeah, but how, what else did you think of the show? Uh, the show was amazing. The, ener the energy in the room was, was, it was awesome. It was electric. It was, it was great to be back. Um, you know, the Viper Room has so much history to it. And uh, we just hope that we can uh, keep adding to that for, for our, in our chapters and hopefully in their chapters too. That's awesome. And you've got a pretty good fan base out there in LA, don't you? Yeah, it's growing. That's awesome. They are pretty hardcore out there. So <laughs> I mean, we had, we had a few people that drove over a hundred miles in different you know, directions, except for through the, nobody lived in the ocean. Nobody came from Catalina Island, but uh, in every other direction, but West, we, we had people come from about a hundred miles out. So it was really cool to see, um, the kind of magnetism to not only our show, but, you know, a place like Viper Room, which I know, um, you know, they had to shut their doors down too, just like everybody else during yeah. COVID. So I'm sure they're, they're grateful to see good shows going on. Well, they are, is they're, they're an indie venue. They always have been. And, you know, they're, it's not a huge venue. It's not a big stadium or anything. It's a club. And, you know, like all of them in the country and the world, everyone had to, you know, figure it out. So I'm glad that they stayed open and are playing shows again. And I'm glad you got to be out there and experience it. Cause I know that you guys haven't been playing. You've done plenty of live streams over the last <laughs> 18 months or so, but uh, it probably felt really good to be able to feel the energy of a crowd again. It was nice to look out and see people uh, responding to the music since we did several live streams from places like rebel lounge and last things at live. And uh you know, it was cool to be on those stages, but it was weird looking out and, and seeing literally no one. Yeah. Yeah. Just somebody just with a camera. <laughs> yep, exactly. Or in some cases, just a camera on a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. They could have stuck, you know, a bunch of cardboard cutouts of, of people for you. Like all me, just cardboard cutouts of me. Hey, that I, helped? I'm good with that. And what was interesting too is the majority of our set we've never done before to an audience uh -huh. because our singles that we've been putting out since 2020 yeah that was the first time so that was really wow. cool to see people actually liked it live nice yeah we had no idea so hopefully our hometown can uh, sh uh show the love as well i think they will i think they will let's talk about that single ain't no other way it's in my head for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, no. <laughs> well, thank you for playing it. You may have heard the spot a couple of times on KWSS. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, every time I flip it on the radio, it's it's always playing. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Actually, I'm pretty proud of that spot, to be honest. You know, I just, you know, we... we no, thank you so much. For all of our mixing done in-house for you. But no, we appreciate you because the same time, I mean, this is how our station works. We want to support the community and the same time, it's really nice when the community can support us as well so that 
we can keep the whole scene going, right? So thank you as well for, for supporting us. So you guys have, I mean, I don't know if there was like a, a gold platform, you know, how do we grandfather you in as KWSS members, you know? Because <laughs> you Yeah, I'd love to be a member. We could yeah. just put like a little plaque on your wall or something. I don't know. There we go. There we Let's go. At the, at the uh, art museum or something. I'll start my own walk of fame out in front of my house on the sidewalk. And just... I, bet, I bet the town of Gilbert will love that. Yeah, my HOA will be just so happy <laughs> <laughs> if I start doing that right. <laughs> Well, so the single, we did play it, and it will be getting into our rotation, I can guarantee it. Um, it's a good, great song. I mean, good vibe, always a good rock song from Jane in the Jungle, Jungle for sure. Um, any background on the song? What's it about? Yeah, so this song was written right before we went into the studio in January. And our goal was, when we were in the studio, to do three different types of rock songs because we are a rock band and we wanted to explore kind of the different genres of rock. So our first single that we put out this year was Trouble mm -hmm. that teared on the hard rock. I would not say it's a hard rock song, but it did touch hard rock, modern, Mar modern rock. Mm -hmm. And Ain't No Other Way was our glam, 80s inspired rock. I hear it. And so we really wanted to lean into that, the Pat Benatar, the, just that, almost hair like rock something to shake your booty to yeah yeah it's it's one of those and so I yeah know. we had it's our fun one and kind of catchy hopefully and then our next rock song that we have is our 90s grunge mm. power rock song so that one's going to be the one that will be coming out next but we will be playing that at the show nice what so, what was what made you think let's do this let's let's do these different kind of genres you were just brainstorming and we're talking about it and I mean yeah well for a while now people have said you know you're not an alternative rock band and when we were growing up listening to alternative rock music in the 90s like we thought we were a very alternative rock band but nowadays alternative rock is a different sound and so we actually loved actually being called a rock band and we're like you know what yeah we are that fits us perfectly you know it's about the show the energy the emotion of it and we're still trying to find our way and we're like what fun way for us to kind of just like play with the different genres of rock and see kind of where we fall and what we like doing and Kind of the most important thing and just see what our audience likes yeah well, and also if you followed our band for uh some time like even back to the first ep um you know we've always explored the different edges of yeah rock music alternative yeah. music you know and you know from things like you know balance to headbangers and so we think balance is really important too as a band like you don't want to just be that band that puts out essentially the same kind of formula every single time I mean I understand sometimes that helps you develop like a sound that is recognizable but to me as a listener it's so much more enjoyable when it's like every song kind of brings something that um it puts me in a different place for each song and I, I like that music is such a, a time and place type of thing so I kind of want to be transported around uh to different places and times in each song yeah and you always what I love especially with with indie bands, they have the freedom to do that. Um, you know, the, the the major bands out there, they get hooked with their label, they are stuck. And there's like, these are the songs that you need to put out now. And it can be very restricting when they want to try and do something else. But with an indie band, oh. you pretty much free reign to, to decide what you want to do and how you want to do it and, and explore that. Also, you know, you were saying, Jordan, how you know, alternative rock is so different, but I always looked at alternative as just that, the definition of alternative, you know, it, it can be so many things, it can be whatever you want it to be. And, you know, that that's what I love about whether it's alternative rock, and now they're even putting alternative in anything, there's alt country, there's alt rap, there's, I mean, they just throw an alt in front of it, and, and it gives it that, it, it's almost like a permission to be more free in how you sound, right? 
That's interesting. Yeah. That's a totally interesting observation because I agree. I almost feel like uh, the term alternative has kind of gotten almost overused now. It's because, not a genre to me. Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. It's, it's well, like and a, I think to your point, I think that's why we really have been liking leaning into rock and really exploring modern rock mm -hmm. and kind of what that means and opening the door for artists like us where we don't want to just be in this world of just like you're anything and everything and you you're you're just getting lost in the crowd yeah and we thought you know what we are a rock band let's lean into that energy that we have and really make something of that vibe that really truly makes us unique and that's jane in the jungle our kind of signature sound right and i inspire anybody you know listening that is inspired to go down the modern rock uh, hole, I guess. Um, yeah, it's been just fun and yeah. exciting. And if you hear, you know, modern artists like Halsey and um, geez, Miley Cyrus are all doing rock inspired. Um, Isn't that interesting? <laughs> I mean, tracks, Metallica, it's all kind yeah, of yeah. back. And I love that. I mean, I, I think the bottom line for all of it should just be just create, create what you want to create and enjoy what you're doing. And the music will, I mean, the music's going to make itself because you're doing what you love and creating it. This no, that is a hundred percent right. And some, yes, thank you. That you know, should be I'm not repeat. a musician. And that little quote should be on repeat that plays, you know, after every song, because yes, thank you for that. Yeah. I mean, you get carried away as artists and well, I think some of that's good though. Get carried away, <laughs> but don't be so worried about, will I get the national radio play? Will I make it big? Will I do, I mean, I think people, you know, you get wrapped up in how am I going to be successful unless I conform? And I don't think that, I don't know if you should really worry about that as much because you're going to lose the love of your art, I think in the process. And that's when you know you're right. That's well, when you're just in you, the crowd. Well, and especially you know this, like I mean, even working in independent radio, like especially at, at corporate radio, like even if you are perfectly conforming and you have an amazing song that's working in that <clears throat> track, you know, in that in that genre, um, that doesn't mean you're gonna get get it because True. you're you know. Um, you're competing with people that have a lot bigger marketing budgets than you and have a bigger name than you. So, yes. you know, um, if you're at that point where you're getting that kind of radio play, you know, that's a whole different conversation to have, but, sure. um, you know, like you said, stay true to your art and just follow your path. Everybody's path's going to be different. And sometimes that's going to include radio and, and sometimes it's not, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I look at like uh, Lana Del Rey, she can sell an arena, mm -hmm. but, have you ever heard a Lana Del Rey song on a top 40 station or, uh, or really any corporate radio? No, because they're all six minutes long. Yeah. So it's just, player. <laughs> yeah, I know you guys do, but you know, like you're not going to hear her on, um, you know, some of the bigger, you know, not to yeah. name names, no, you're right. because yeah. she's, she, her format's too long. And, uh, but that doesn't diminish her success or, or her art. And so it's like, you know, there, you can have major success without being, um, you know, a radio, a radio yeah. God. Yeah, no, it's true. It's true. And, you know, another artist that just came to mind was Lindsay Sterling. Totally. I mean, violinist extraordinaire, right? And I mean, she's not getting played. I mean, we have a couple songs that we play, but we can because we're indie, but she's not getting like corporate radio play everywhere. I mean, yeah, she's selling out. She'll sell out like three nights here in Phoenix in a exactly, row. Exactly. Yes. So, I mean, the, the fans will come if you're good at what you do. And I think the talent and being good at what you do and also the enjoyment, you know, if you're enjoying what you're doing, all that is going to carry over and that's what's going to make Absolutely. you successful. Boom. Dropping my mic. No, I'm not going to drop my mic. <laughs> <That's the end. laughs> Danny has spoken. Boom. <laughs> well, let's talk about this show, which is if you're listening on Thursday morning, it's tonight <laughs> at the Rebel Lounge. So this is going to be your first hometown show back in front of a crowd. It is. Very exciting. Um, you've got Commiserate, Daphne and the Glitches, and Turn Zero. Uh, did you, I mean, did you know you were going to choose these bands? Were you like, who wants to play with us? How did you put this together? 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. You guys are on the radio. Sorry, my family is so loud. Um, Hi, family. Not at all. We had no, we um we honestly no didn't know of them at all. Like we played with um Daphne before in a previous band that she had. Yeah, yeah. And when we were trying to put together the bill, I, I don't want to be grim, but half of the bands that we were playing with, they were no longer bands. Oh. Yeah. But then on the other side, the other half of the bands that we have been playing with, they're on these amazing tours and stuff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, or, it's, yeah. it's kind of weird right now how everything is, is, it's coming back and, but it's like, you don't know who to reach out to yet. It's like, everybody's still trying to find their footing. Yeah. yeah. I have no idea. And then, so I had to ask, I asked around town. I'm like, who do we ask? And Big B, he helped us out a lot because he works at Zia. Oh, good. And so he was able to hear the little whispers of who we should be playing with. Nice. And we felt in our heart of hearts that these were bands that are playing out a lot and very local and yeah. um, very a part of the scene right now. Yeah. And so we wanted to grab that and kind of explore that for our show. So anyone that is a fan right now of the local music, I think will be very familiar with all of these three bands because they are gigging out hard right now. Yeah. And it's a good, I mean, they're all, they all compliment you very well. And I had never heard of Commiserate before until you added them onto your, to your show. And of course I went and looked them up and, and I like them. I like their sound a lot. Thank you. I like them too. They, yeah, yeah they're kind of like a grungy rock band, yeah. which I really like. They seem like, like Nirvana esque. Yeah, yeah, and they seem like a lot of fun. So seeing them on stage will be will be fun to watch. I think, and of course, Daphne and the Glitches just rock the place. I mean, their guitarist Alex. I mean, she is Joan Jett reincarnated. Seriously. Oh, I know. She walks in a building, and I'm like, Joan? No, that's not Joan. <laughs> Yeah, she has the coolest look for sure. I know, I know. And I can't wait to see their their show too because um, we had an email circulating with the bands, you know, getting ready for the production. And um, they're like, hey, we need to send our input list in because we have nine members in our band. I was like, wow, okay. I didn't realize I had that they're many people. Huge. So it's like, I can't wait to see how this is all orchestrated and arranged. Yeah. Because that's a lot of, that's a lot of different parts to have working it's together. It's super so I can't cool. Wait till you see, see it. it. It's, it's an ensemble, definitely. It's not just a band. They're an ensemble. <laughs> so, sure. and of course, can't forget about Turn Zero. I mean, they have come, they were just, I'm, I'm really glad they're getting out there again because they were just starting to kind of break through a little bit more in the scene and then COVID happened and it kind of put everything on hold. But so I'm very excited that they're able to start getting out there again and start doing that, so... Well, and you know, Michael keeps, Michael cracks the whip for his bands. He makes sure they're, they're keep going forward no matter what. Oh so. yeah. Don't, don't mess. If you're on the 80, 20 label, you better be ready to work. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I guess we'll just see who comes out. You know, we're very excited for the show, but again, it's been two years since we've had a headline show in Phoenix. How crazy is that? Two years. It's really, really crazy. And so <laughs> Uh, we're just excited to hopefully meet new faces, see familiar faces, and just go from there because uh, I, awesome. I think that will tell what we do next for our, you know, shows around. Yeah, town. yeah, for sure, for sure. So, ain't no other way is the single. Well, wait first tonight, Rebel Lounge uh, doors are at seven and the show starts at seven 30, right? If I remember right. that spot correctly, that is that right. plays on KWSS. Yeah. <laughs> By that chick with the weird voice who just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So don't, yeah. Be there at seven because turn zero will be on at seven 30. Awesome. And yeah. You don't want to miss them. Awesome. And I I'm going to say my slogan is come early, stay late. There you go. Thursday I said this last night on our live is, I don't want to keep it really brief. Our, some of my favorite bands when I was growing up, going to shows six nights a week, were the bands that were opening up for the acts that I went to see. And so that's yeah. how you find your new favorite band is you you uh, show up early and you stay late. It's true. It's true. That's how I've discovered so many bands is by getting there and just watching the whole thing and making sure I had a place to sit down and rest in between. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, so wonderful. Yes. So very excited about that. Ain't No Other Way is the single and there's a video out as well, correct? Correct. Yes. Jim Laveau did that. Oh, gotta love Jim. The last time we talked on a Zoom thing, you know, I can't wait to get you guys actually in my studio again, by the way, that will be coming. But the last time we spoke, Jim, what did your last video? Yes. Yes. And he did this one too with uh, Tony Aguilera. Nice. Nice, wonderful. And we can't forget that you have a little giveaway going on right now as well. I saw some some posts on social media. Tell us about that. Well, we have recently uh, entered into a uh, relationship with Gibson Guitars. Nice. And uh, by some just kind of crazy cosmic energy. And we are doing a giveaway for an Epiphone uh, Les Paul that is customized for Jane in the Jungle and the art on the guitar is inspired by our single art for Ain't No Other Way. Ooh. So this contest started on October 1st and it runs through the whole month of October ending on November 1st. And uh, there's one winner that will get the guitar a merch pack and then a virtual meet and greet with us. And then fear not, if you don't win the guitar, there are still, there's nine second place winners that will also send you some merch out and also we'll get a virtual meet and greet with the band. So uh, 10 winners, but uh, it's really easy, free to enter. There's all sorts of fun little things you can do uh, to get more entries into the into the contest. Things like listening to our music, uh, watching our music videos, subscribing to our YouTube channel or different various socials. So there's a lot of ways that you can win, um, a lot of ways to enter, and it should be fun. You know, it's a cool guitar. I, we got to see it in LA last week and uh, play it a little bit. It's, it's cool guitar and, and I'm really looking forward to seeing who wins it. And I, and I hope it's somebody here uh, in town. Um, I, you know, I, not to be biased, but I hope that somebody in Phoenix wins it. So enter, 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 because lots of people from other states and, and actually in Canada, very popular in Canada too. Wow, look at you guys, popular in Canada. I don't know that we are popular in Canada. The <laughs> contest is popular. <laughs> well, I would hope that whoever wins it does know who you are. Well, they sure will after they win it. Definitely. definitely. <laughs> so, so, and all that information is over on your social media pages. Yep. You can't miss it. It's on our Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, website, Jane, the letter in the jungle.com. Oh, did you add it to the website? Uh, it's everywhere. Everywhere yeah. you can find information about us. It is there. Excellent. Well, good. I guess I'm going to go and do a few more entries then. So I can yeah, invite some friends or something. That's actually the best way to get entries is you get a thousand uh, like raffle t virtual raffle tickets by inv a friend signing up under your referral. That's the most effective way to. There we go. That's in all our bio links. Awesome. Great. Well, you know, I just hope I get that meet and greet. That would be fun. <laughs> right. We're kind of doing that now a little bit. <laughs> I'll bring a bunch of people who have not heard of you and to the meet and greet. That's what I'll do. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. fun. But then I'll get to see Big B because he's not here. That's so, true. Yeah. So yeah, well, right. well, we're going to think of something fun for the meet and greet. There we go. That'll be fun. It'll be fun. That's cool. It'll be like, it'll be like I'll order Peter Piper pizza to your house or something so we can have a pizza party together, but virtually. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll do something fun. We should have did that tonight. I'm hungry. We'll have to do that. We'll have little, next uh, what are they called? The birds that drop off a meal. We can uh, all have the same. I don't think that's a thing yet. I think we just invented a new meal delivery service. Wow. Yeah, we could do no, fun things with the camera where you pass the food from one screen to the to the next. Oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me for a little while. And um, I will be stopping by the show tonight. So I will see you tonight. Yay. Oh, Thursday, so Thursday is the new Friday, right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, that is tonight at the Rebel Lounge. Doors at seven. 7 30 is when the show starts definitely come and check out these the bands before jane in the jungle um commiserate daphne and the glitches turn zero you think i wouldn't have to think about it by now but i still have to like go through them all in my head and look up the single stream everything on spotify ain't no other way and check out the video um you got anything else coming up after this we'll sign up for the guitar giveaway that too yes anything else coming up after this or are you guys just gonna lay low we have 
Well, we'll be finding out. We don't know. Yeah. So we're taking it day yeah. by day. It, a lot of it's riding on uh, everything that's happening now. I get it. I get it. I know. It's like, how far in advance can we look? Who knows? This is probably the the shows, these shows, the LA show and this show are probably the the most you've like planned in advance in quite totally. some time, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then if we did good enough, then maybe we'll play again. Yeah. So yeah. that's kind of where we're at now. So uh, it's like you're starting over as a band completely. Well, come and, sell, come <laughs> yes. and sell it out. Come to the Rebel Lounge and sell it out. There we go. All right, Jane, Jane, Jane. Yeah, Jordan, Brian, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a little while. Oh, thank Thanks you for, for having, having us. us. All right, take care.